Welcome again to the Sunday Gorilla Men's Bible Study. I'm Brother Thomas Lee Harris III. We're continuing in our new study called Pain in My Black Church. Amen? In the last study, we, we ended up with, in the book of Deuteronomy, we read a, a verse out of chapter 18, and it talked about the children of Israel, that uh, Moses gave them a warning that when they get, got to the land that God had promised them, don't don't do like the other people were doing and the reason that i i use this um that scripture was because in reference to the black church i have to tie it into another formula where is where it says if it's broke don't fix it but if it's broke we have to fix it where did we go wrong Why, why are all our men in jail? Why do we have the worst schools? Why is in our community the highest crime rate? Why there's no, you know, our streets are dirty, broken glass everywhere. Why is our teen pregnancy rate the highest? Why is the AIDS rate highest? Why is the worst of the worst upon us you know you know why and, and so I have to go back and the obvious thing that critics would say was you know we were brought to America as slaves and truly we've never recovered from that but this study pain in my black church the Spirit revealed to me is that God's chosen people have consistently in this Bible been the smallest nation or the smallest group of people that at many times were enslaved by another people. And if you can see this, if you can see that this Bible is talking to you, okay, this Bible is not just including you, this Bible was intended for you, black man. And Jesus came and included everyone. Every, now here comes a controversy. I thought it was for the Jews. <sighs> We're going to see in this in this this Bible using the Bible that the black man in America is the Jew that God was talking about. It's a scripture. We're going to go scripture for scripture. And the present day, the black church is not functioning under the anointing of God. It's actually drawing people away from God. And I want to jump into, I want to go to, uh, Second Peter, Second Peter, Second Peter, let's, let's just go to uh, chapter one or two, first Peter, second Peter, um, second Peter chapter one, Let me go chapter one. Let's go to. I'm chopping it up. Verse eleven. So get your highlighter, your pen. Second Peter, because it's truly going to be an intensive study. You know, it's too much entertainment for one in, in the black church. Entertainment can lull you to sleep. Reminder that Satan, the fallen angel from heaven 
was a chief musician. We got to be careful about entertainment. Because this demon is alive. And he's trying to blind the people. He's blinding us. And, and it says in the scripture that he appears as an angel of light. He'll dress up what we think is good and actually is bad. And there it goes back to Jeremiah 23. It talks about the shepherds. But let's jump into the scripture. Um, 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 11. For so an entrance will be supplied to you abundantly into, ever, into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For this reason, I will not be ne negligent to remind you always of these things. Though you know and are established in the present truth. Yes, I think it is right. As long as I am in this tent, talking about his body, to stir you up in reminding you. So, these, these Bible studies are a reminder. Just like the, 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 um, the prophet is speaking here. He wasn't judging the people. Because it's easy to sit back and say, oh, you're judging. But reminders can be misinterpreted as a judgment, a rebuke, or a correction. If you're going down the wrong street, and I know, oh, she's supposed to be going to 233 so-and-so. And I see you going the wrong direction and don't say nothing. When I had the opportunity to say, uh-uh, it's this way, I'm dead wrong. And that's what this Bible does. It gives you the word, but it also, it gives you those reminders and those corrections. And that's the intention of Sunday Gorilla Men's Bible study. To correct us, because even the, the original saw in the beginning that they kept straying off course. So they would send letters to the churches. So here we go. Um, verse 13. Yes, I think it is right, as long as I am in this tent, to stir you up by reminding you, knowing that shortly I must put off my tent, just as our Lord Jesus Christ showed me. You know, he's going to pass away. Verse 15. Moreover, I will be careful to ensure that you always have a reminder of these things after my decease. Verse 16. For we did not follow cunningly devised fables, when we made known to you the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. So he's making reference. In daily life, we, people are storytellers. And he made a reference to make it clear. This ain't no story. This ain't no gossip trail. This is the true word of God given by the spirit of God. Right and, and and because there's so many storytellers and dramas and TVs going on, it's easy to get caught up in the lie if we're not taking these reminders seriously. Amen. As the Sunday Gorilla Men's Bible Study, it's a reminder. Verse seventeen. For he received from God the Father honor and glory when such a voice came to him from the excellent glory. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Verse 18. And we heard this voice which came from heaven when we were with him on the holy mountain. Verse 19. And so we have the prophetic word confirmed which you do well to heed as a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. Amen. Verse 20. Knowing this, that no prophecy of scripture is of any private interpretation. For prophecy never came by the will of man, but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. So he's given confirmation that the reminder will come from the Holy Spirit. And the Spirit of God reminded me to look at these scriptures and to remind myself to, to tell a brother that if you're going down the wrong road, recheck yourself with the word. Don't take the rebuke or the correction 
as, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Check it with the word. To make sure we're going down the, the right, right road. Amen? Um, I'm ended on ch chapter 2, verse 1. It says, but there are also false prophets among the people, even, even as there will be false teachers among you, who will secretly bring in destructive heresies, even denying the Lord who brought them and bring on themselves swift destruction. And many will follow their destructive ways because of whom the way of truth will be blasphemy. And that's why the reminder to us today is millions are going to church, the black church, but it's, it's not producing the fruit. We cannot continue to keep going to these churches Sunday after Sunday when the obviously there's nothing working. This word of God says it's powerful and it works if it's followed. We can't have black churches in the black community in death and destruction all around. It's contra it, it, it is contradictory to the word of God. Amen? And that'll be the end of part two and I look forward to seeing you in part three. Amen. God bless you.